We'll just sit and see, eh? Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this press conference. I would just take a short time and let the band members know, like uh, the uh, media, uh, like the persons who came from different media houses. We have uh, from Nagaland Post, print, uh, print media we have from Nagaland Post, Eastern Media, uh, Nagaland Page, um, Burung Express, almost all the, uh, you know, print media they came. And even electronic media also, we have uh, Dimapu 24-7, NLTV, Hornville TV, NNN, you know, besides others. So I welcome you all to this press conference. Uh, within a short time also, you have all uh, given your time and you have waited for us also. So uh, I open the, uh, I give the time to the members to highlight on the Jubilee program now. Maybe the convener can take the time now. Thank you, media friends. I'm Machia Lotha, the convener of the 50 Golden Jubilee celebration of Dimapur Lotha Students Union. Well, uh, in a nutshell, I will just highlight in a brief about our program. Dimapur Lotha Students Union has its inception on in the year since 1972, and now 2022 we are celebrating this Golden Jubilee. We have a formal session on 14 and 15. 14 is our inaugural session, 14 evening, where our advisor Matang, government of Nagaland, is coming as our inaugural guest. On 15 morning, we have our main Jubilee session, where our Honorable Deputy CM is coming as our uh, Jubilee guest. And in the afternoon session, we will be having our uh, validatory session where our Honorable Advisor Honlomo <coughs> Kikon he is coming as our uh, validatory guest. <coughs> yeah, in the process, our organizing committee for the Golden Jubilee Lotha Student Union, we had the concept of having the Jubilee in a formal session. But eventually, in the process, there were many suggestions, there were, there were many inputs from our members and our uh, senior leaders and our students' community uh, why not we have a evening session or extra extra or an extra vacancy night on that occasion of our golden jubilee so the organizing committee we took that as a positive challenge and eventually we are here you can see the background behind us we are in the full and final preparation of our jubilee night which is on 15th of october at 5 pm and there we have our special invitees. One is our uh, local, ML, local MLA from Dimapur 2 AC, Sir Mwatushi Longkumar. And we have our another guest, Sir Wayam Hunsoy, retired Secretary of Government of Nagaland, who is also the uh, Vice President LDBB Nagaland. Coming back to our Jubilee night, uh, we are proud to you know, inform our near and dear friends present here and who will be you know getting the information through our uh, media forum we have about us they need no introduction their identity and their recognition have gone far and far and wide even to that international level thank you about us for being a part of our jubilee golden jubilee celebration moreover we also have our uh, other band Correct team chief. They are from they are Dimapur originally they are from Dimapur base and they are also known to almost all the music music fraternity of our state. And we have our uh, young guitarist Gideon Lotha, Gideon Kitan. He's seven years old, probably now maybe eight. We all know him. He created a huge impact sensation in the uh, social media through his art. Thank you, Gideon. And we also have Mirbini Patan. Unfortunately, due to her other engagement, she could not be a part of uh, this press conference. But definitely, she is coming and she will be a part of us on that occasion. Uh, well, uh, this Jubilee night, we conceive and we had this feeling that we should give this to the people in the sense 
acknowledging our pioneers, acknowledge, acknowledging our leaders, elders, who at that stage had the idea of conceiving this Dimapur Lotha Students Union. Now our team or our, the organizing committee, our concept is, is short and sweet. We are give, giving back, acknowledging the initiative of our pioneers. So this concert is open to all. This is going to be open air free concert. And last but, the, but last but not the least, through this forum, I would also like to appeal and request all our non lothar friends, be it local, non-local, please be a part of our celebration. And please, please be a part of our Golden Jubilee Night. Thank you. Right now we have confirmed 10 numbers. When you talk about organizing such big events, big events, mostly it's done through donations and donators and all. So how do you manage to do this big event? I mean for two days people. We have done it uh, purely on uh, well wishers from well wishers and event partners. We have well wishers from all communities and uh, all uh, uh, tribes. So we have uh, for, uh, we have not gone for any donation drives. We have just uh, uh, approached some well wishers and for, for for the event, and they have uh, uh, responded very positively. Uh, out of the ten, five will be our originals, and the other five will be covers. Exclusively music. We will be performing seven songs and we are doing some covers and originals. Yeah. And what about videos? How many pieces are you So when you, make, when you say it's open so anyone can walk? Yes, definitely. It's a payback time to our people. Also, currently working on our second album, which is yet to be released. Now we are waiting for our first album, which is going to be, re which is going to be released uh, on November. So after that, we will be you now working on to the next album. Free concert, yeah, definitely free concert. Free and open to all. For now, we are very new, I would say, like, just, we have played only a few shows for now, so, for that, uh, I won't be able to respond. Like, we have to, you know, head first and, like, we'll know later on. Uh, 